Hi everyone, welcome to my new video. Thank you so much for watching my videos and following me on YouTube. Wow, I sound like a real YouTuber. As you could guess from the title, today I want to speak about the most common mistakes people make when learning new language. These are mistakes that I have noticed people around me make and some of them I keep making even after years of learning languages. I feel that some of those mistakes, even though they're not too serious, might actually uh, slow down the learning process and in the end they might even make you give up on learning languages, which is something really sad in my opinion. So today I want to uh, speak about five most common mistakes people make when learning new language and how to avoid them. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. So let's start. So mistake number one that you should avoid making is having unrealistic expectations. I have noticed that a lot of people have really weird um, ideas on how much about how much time it takes to learn a language. According to most of the researchers, it can take anywhere between three months and two years. It depends a lot on your learning habits. It depends how much time you want to invest. It depends how good you are with languages. And it also depends on what language you are learning. As we all know, some languages are more complicated than others. And as you also might know, uh, how fast you learn something depends on what your native language is. So let's say if you are a Russian who wants to learn Polish, it will, it will take you much less time than learning Chinese. But even if you are learning some language that's easy for you, it's still not going to take you less than three months. No way. So I have seen a lot of people get disappointed that they are not able to speak after uh dedicating a lot of time to learning during two months don't worry that's completely okay our brains need time i like to compare brain to muscles actually going to the gym every day during month or two might make some little changes on your body but you are not going to become a bodybuilder the same thing applies to languages you can learn every day you can listen you can try to talk still in two months you're not going to be fluent so please accept that take it easy, relax, your time will come, I guarantee you that. And please don't get disappointed if it doesn't happen in three months, if it doesn't happen in six months. For some people it just takes longer, but I guarantee you if you learn regularly and if you put a lot of effort, you're definitely gonna speak your language. Mistake number two. Uh, I have noticed that a lot of people, even when they are adult, try to learn languages the same way we used to do it when we were in school. That's a big mistake because first of all, I think that like 95% of us can agree that we didn't learn anything in school, that the school way of teaching some things is extremely boring and extremely useless. I don't wanna attack schools. I totally understand that when you have 30 kids in a class and 45 minutes to explain them something, you cannot have enough time to actually teach them and to practice with all of them. But when it comes to languages, practice is the most important thing. So please ignore all those things that you learned in school, stop memorizing grammar rules, uh, stop learning vocabulary by heart. That's not how language should be taught and learned. Uh, what I recommend is to learn it in a natural way, surround yourself with language, listen, try to talk. Nowadays with internet, you can find a language partner from anywhere in the world. But please don't close yourself in like in a room and take a book in front of you and try to memorize every single grammar rule a certain language has. That's not how languages should be taught. So forget everything you learned in school. There's probably not much anyway. And do it in a more fun way. Third most common mistake people make when learning languages is they are being shy to speak. And this is something that I'm dealing with right now because I'm learning German. And even though I know that I could speak with someone a little bit, I am too shy to do it. Mostly because I'm used to be uh, relaxed in other languages that I speak. I know that I will be able to like, communicate with people without problem. And it's still not the case with German. So I feel kind of shy to make a mistake or to sound stupid or to not be able to understand what is the other person saying. And I know that this is probably one of the most common, maybe even the most common problem people have. Uh, I totally understand you. It feels very uh, disappointing to invest your time in a language. And then when you're actually able to speak, 
you say something stupid or you are not able to understand. I totally get that. I have been there, done mistakes. I still do that, as I told you with German. But this is something that you really have to work on if you want to be fluent. Uh, something that you have to remember, one thing that you have to remember is the fact that learning any foreign language is already a huge success. There are a bunch of the people all around the world who only speak their native language. Still, there is nothing bad about that. But the fact that you are open-minded enough and ready to learn something else is already admirable. There is no reason for you to be shy or ashamed even when you make mistakes. Another thing to keep in mind is that for native speakers, uh, they are already very happy to hear you speaking their own language. They are already very proud that someone is interested in their language. So even if you make some mistakes when speaking with native speaker, they will still be very happy that you are trying to speak their language. Except if they are Americans, British or French, they think that's normal to speak their language. But all the other people in the world will be happy to hear you speaking their native language. Fourth most common mistake a lot of people make is translating everything literally. This is a mistake that actually makes a lot of sense because the easiest thing when learning a new language uh, is to think that it's very similar to yours. So whatever makes sense in your native language is gonna make sense in the other one. That's unfortunately not the case. It's way more complicated than that. Uh, this is a mistake that I still sometimes make uh, and it's actually very hard to get rid of it. The easiest way to get rid of it is to completely ignore your native language, forget that you speak it, and try to imagine that you are a baby who is learning a language from the beginning, from very, very beginning, from zero. Uh, the way I do it is I try to listen as much as I can because our brain is actually very powerful and when you are surrounded with something your brain is going to adapt it and it's going to adapt itself to the new way of speaking so when i for example listen or watch a lot of movies in let's say italian i will kind of catch the rhythm of that language i will understand how they uh, make the word order i will catch some slang words as well which i didn't know before so i will try to try using them and my brain is actually gonna become a little bit Italian. That way I'm gonna make less mistakes that I used to make before. So, uh, as I said, it's completely okay to do this, to make this uh, mistake. People will still understand you probably, but if you want to be able to say that you're fluent and if you want to sound like a native speaker, this is something that you should avoid at all costs. And the last mistake I want to discuss in this video is the fact that sometimes you tend to listen to other people's advice more than you are listening to yourself. You might be surprised to hear this from me because I'm giving you language learning advice right now, but something that I always repeat is the fact that each one of us has to find our own way and our own um, preference when it comes to learning languages. For example, something that's very popular nowadays and that doesn't work for me is using language learning apps. I have tried a few of those most famous ones that you all heard about. I was so bored. It really didn't work for me. I haven't learned anything. And I was so happy when I actually started uh, using them because everyone is speaking good about them. Many people say that it helped them. In my case, it was total disaster. It doesn't work for me. There is no way. Uh, so you probably also have something that might work for me and that I recommended that doesn't work for you. Please ignore other people's advices. You have to find your own way of doing things, not only when it comes to language learning. This is like a life advice. So do whatever suits you. It might sound weird to other people, but if it works for you, that's perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. If you have any suggestions or any ideas, what could I make a video about or what should I speak about, please leave me your ideas in the comments. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I would like to work more on my YouTube channel. And um, I have to admit that today I'm not the smartest person because I feel kind of slow and it took me a long time to make this video. So if I sound weird, I'm so sorry. Uh, next time will be better. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time.